Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I have a candle spotlight little episode for you guys today which is basically uh, going to be a video about a fragrance or candle brand that is not Bath & Body Works. So obviously much of the content on my channel is Bath & Body Works but I've had a few candle companies reach out to me about wanting to send products for me to review and I was just, you know, I agreed uh, for once this time. Normally I kind of, uh, you know, shy away from doing those type of like for review uh, review videos uh, but I was like, you know what, let me, let me just give it a try and see how it goes. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to try out different brands and fragrances and just I enjoy the marketing and the like I guess behind the scenes and just the way the product is formed and so it's kind of fun to be able to try different brands uh, free of charge to me. So obviously full disclosure the products in this review video were sent to me for free. Um, I don't get a kickback from it. I don't have an affiliate code. I'm not a brand ambassador. There's nothing like that going on. I'm not being paid to make the video. Literally just sent me the candles for me to try out and want to know my thoughts on it and I agreed and that's basically how this video came about. Uh, so I have a few candle brands coming up here um, soon and the first one of our series is going to be Sniff, uh, which is sniff.co is the website. Um, and the package looks like this. Uh, very a clean, uh, slightly premium aesthetic, as you can see right here. Um, and then it kind of like slides out like that. Um, and then it has actually six candles in here. Um, it's basically three full-size ones um, and three sample ones, but we'll get into that here real soon. Uh, so Sniff is a company that I've seen uh, advertised heavily on both Facebook and Instagram, I always see, and I've always been curious about it because the aesthetic is very uh, like modern, trendy, hip type of aesthetic to it. I think their kind of like unique selling proposition or what sets them apart from other Kindle brands is that they're genderless. So it's not like, you know, there's any, like, like female fragrances or male fragrances. Now how a lot of times they'll be like, oh, fragrances for men. Like there'll be a men's collection and a women's collection. This is just genderless across the board. So, you know, anybody can enjoy these fragrances, which is kind of like, I guess how fragrances should be. And as you know, I try all the fragrances under the sun. Um, so I was totally on board with that. Uh, so they do sell fine fragrances, but they also sell a, a limited number of candles as well. And so I have the candles to review today. Uh, it's kind of like the same like premium higher end fragrances that they use for their fine fragrances also used in their candles. So that's kind of how it like crosses the board between the fine fragrances and the candles. Um, other tidbits or information that I found out about was that uh, they are paraffin free and they're also vegan and cruelty free. Uh, they are 100% made in USA. So uh, we're good to go on that and the main thing is that they have like a trial or sample uh, situation that you can do which is kind of unique in the sense that you don't actually have to commit to buying the fragrances until you get them home and smell them which is a good way to operate like a uh, you know direct to consumer online brand where a lot of times the issue with uh, online purchasing with candles or fragrances is that they're blind by so you can't really smell them and you've kind of like already bought them so they kind of fix that issue with the sample kit where you actually are not charged you can have an option for it to be not charged until you decide which ones to keep um, and basically like on this kit where you get three candles um, I believe it's hundred and twenty dollars uh, to get it and what you do is you basically try out the small uh, sample versions that you see right here um, and it's a two ounce sample candle and you try this and um, these are basically free uh, and if you enjoy any of those three then you can opt to choose these and they'll charge you, uh, I believe it's uh, $49 each but 120 if you buy all three. So obviously it's a little bit cheaper if you buy all three together. And lastly, I think another selling point for them is that they're basically trying to make like luxury or premium fragrances a little bit more accessible. So these are obviously a little bit pricier than the usual Bath & Body Works candles that we talk about here on the channel, uh, but they're not quite as pricey as like, let's say a 70 to $80 like Diptyque candle, which is like seven ounces. Uh, this one I believe is 8.5 ounces, so a little bit bigger for about $50 uh, on the candle. So uh, definitely on the pricier side, but not as pricey as some of your higher end brands. So if you do enjoy the fragrances, it's kind of like in between a, you know, mall brand pricing versus a luxury candle pricing. And that's kind of basically all that I have to say about Sniff uh, for like intro points. And then without further ado, let me just get right into the candles. So yeah, the box and the packaging came really nice, a really sturdy box and very, has like a, a very modern, uh, once again, like gender 
genderless aesthetic is uh, what we see here. It has kind of like a skin tone type of vibe to it. And so you have the three uh, two ounce sample ones and then you have the bigger ones. I have burned all of them anywhere from about, I would say at least four times on every single one. So I can do a burn and uh, actual sniff review of these candles. Um, and the first one that it came with was Birds in the Breeze right here. And that's what that looks like. Um, and it comes with a like decorative lid on there as you can see. Um, and it is a single wick and you can see I have burned it multiple times. Uh, this one is Mimosa Petals Galbanum, which says Think Earthy and Green. Uh, Jasmine Cyclamen, which is a floral fragrance. Uh, Orchid Musk and Cedarwood. And so Birds in the Breeze definitely has like a very like outdoorsy, almost like a, a salty sea air meets a like grassy vibe is what I get from this one. And this one's the one that I was drawn to most in terms of it being very unique and very like different from anything we've smelled out there. Like right off the bat, the three candles are definitely way more like high end and different and unique smelling than the usual candles that we get at Bath and Body Works. So I did appreciate that because they don't really, there are some fragrances that have, you know, similarities to other fragrances that we've smelled before, uh, but they have a distinctly uh, higher end, like non grocery store feel to them, which I appreciate. Definitely has more of like a higher end, like uh, fine fragrance type of fragrance to it. So I do appreciate this one. Um, and yeah, so this one, it definitely has a almost like a salty sea air is what I get in there with like a clean uh, white like slightly dewy spring floral. So think of that orchid or the cyclamen that they were talking about um, in there. But there's also a slight like a uh, dirty dampness to it as well. Uh, so like, you know, like a, almost like a soil type component to it uh, and a woodsiness in there as well, which also comes from the cedar wood, uh, that it kind of smells like a uh, salty sea air, like ocean plus a like woods type of fragrance. So I kind of think of like a like Pacific coastline type of vibe is what I get from this. It also reminds me a lot of like the type of experience you get if you go on Epcot Soarin um, and they used to have the one that was like soaring over California and you would get like that splash of marine air coming and then as you go into the woods, the redwoods and the forest and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's what I really enjoyed about this one because it was definitely unique and different from all the other fragrances. So if you're looking for some type of, that type of more outdoorsy fragrance, but there's still a slight like prettiness from it from the floral and like sort of the salty air notes that I really enjoyed. Um, it's actually the strongest one out of the bunch too. So I did appreciate that. Uh, so that's what the bird and the breeze one smells like uh definitely unique and different so i did like that and it's kind of like it gives you a slight like dirty woodsy component without it being like straight up potting soil as you might have smelled from like other fragrance oils or from vendor wax so i did like that uh they take a while to pull out for sure i think some of them it says don't burn them for more than four hours but burn them at least two to three hours but i simply could not get any of these to pull out um for anything quicker than i would say six hours i think i had some of them going from six to eight hours and they still kind of struggled to pull out uh, so while discretion is advised, I'm sure they wouldn't recommend it either. I actually put a Illuma lid from it on a Yankee candle and just set it on the top. And then once you put that, it heats up the glass a little bit more. Um, and then it pulls out completely like really like much faster and you can get like a deep even wax pull and everything and we're good to go there. But once again, discretion is advised. I don't think they would recommend you putting a Illuma lid on there because it's not, it's not, it's intended for a large jar Yankee candle, not for single wicks. But you guys know if you've watched my videos, I tend to put Illuma lids on my single wicks just to get them to pull out. And that that's when these will pull out. So it does take quite a long time to pull out, uh, but the fragrance still, I had a good fragrance payoff, uh, at least like one to two hours in, so we're good to go there. I would say for a single weight candle, this was actually quite strong, like sometimes a little bit too strong for a smaller bedroom, which I'm not really complaining about, uh, but you could actually smell it kind of like in my uh, dining room. So I would say anywhere from like a, six to a seven in a uh, like bedroom size area, and then more down to like a four or five in an open concept area, but I could still smell it. Uh, so I was actually quite impressed with the strength on a single wick uh, from the Birds in the Breeze. So that was the first uh, fragrance that we had right there. The next one we have is Off the Grid. This is actually, they're kind of like in order of the strength, honestly. This was the second strongest one out of the grouping, um, as you can see right there. Uh, this one has Amber, Lily, Musk, and Sandalwood. This is a heavy, uh, sultry, deep, rich, um, I would say this one's the most like, I guess quote unquote feminine in the sense that it reminds me a lot of like a sparkling amber or sensual amber type of fragrance from Bath and Body Works, uh, but very sultry, kind of like nighttime romantic fragrance is what I get from this, uh, very like body care-ish, uh, but I get a heavy, heavy, amber floral woods presence is what I get from this with uh, heaps of musk in there too. So it's that, if you think of amber, it's also has like that sort of like warm, juicy, deep richness to it. It's almost like a cozy, uh, 
floral woodsy body care fragrance is what I get from it. But it smells very similar to like a higher end version of Sensual Amber or Sparkling Amber from Bath and Body Works. So if you enjoy those type of fragrances, this one's kind of like the nighttime, more sensual, sultry type of fragrance that I get from this one. Uh, this one, I would say they all performed pretty much the same in terms of how long they take to pull out or don't pull out. Uh, but the throw on this one, I would say was also pretty strong too. I would say uh, a five to a six in a bedroom and then more down to like a four in an open concept area. Obviously, you're not going to get a single wick candle to like fill in a huge massive open concept there that's just simply not going to happen as opposed to like a large three wick candle uh so definitely manage your expectations in terms of single wicks they're definitely much better suited for a smaller bedroom or enclosed space and it is probably going to get quite lost in an open concept area but you can still get sniffs of it as you walk like buy it so it's not like completely unscented like a lot of my like single wick bath and body works candles which are unscented even in a bedroom so they're stronger than normal single wick candles that you might have experienced before but once again it's a single wick candle so it's not gonna completely fill up an open concept area so that was off the grid uh right there and lastly, I really enjoyed this one uh, as well. And this was Instant Karma right here. And that's what that looks like. And that's what that looks like right there. And this one has a uh, rather dark wax. So this one probably takes the longest to pull out because of the a higher like dye load that has to be in this candle to make it darker. Uh, the notes on this one read cardamom, pear, uh, black plum, geranium, vetiver, cedarwood, and black tea. And that black tea note and the cedarwood was, was what I smelled immediately first. And I was like, this reminds me so much of my beloved black tea rose from Bath and Body Works that came out just twice, once in a failed test collection and once in the white barn core line. And you do get that beautiful like tea leaf fragrance in there. So it has that sort of like almost like an antique type of old world atmosphere quality to it that I love so much mixed with that like sort of like cedar chest, cedar wood type of woodsy fragrance in there mixed with definitely like a floral quality in there as well that I really enjoy. Um, and it really smells a whole lot like black tea rose from Bath and Body Works that I like so much. Uh, but you get that like, like heavy black tea darkness in there mixed with the cedar wood and the uh, like floral notes definitely come by uh, and I really enjoy that one. This one's another great like nighttime type of fragrance or just like think of like an old library uh, like have the fireplace going with like leather armchairs and then you put this in like totally sets the mood. Uh, unfortunately this one was not as strong as the other two that I experienced. I could still smell it uh, fine but it was more down to like a anywhere from just like a four like a light to medium range in a smaller bedroom um, and then more just like a light in a open concept area. So I feel like this one's probably gonna get a little bit more lost in a open concept area uh but still adequate for a smaller bedroom um and i could still smell it and it just smelled like a once again like a slightly higher end version of black tea rose from bath and body works which that was always like a unique fragrance for bath and body works to put out so i uh, kind of like fun to see it again in like a you know luxury version here i also actually really enjoyed this one because it had the most like uh i guess floral plus tea components that i really enjoyed so that's why uh instant karma Maybe it might be my favorite in terms of fragrance and then closely Birds in the Breeze next and then Off the Grid after that. So yeah, uh, so that was the Instant Karma one right there. So yes, uh, that's pretty much the rundown of the fragrances and the throw on them. Uh, I guess conclusion or overall thoughts on them. Uh, beautiful snatched marketing and everything. Um, I guess if you're into that more like modern, clean, genderless aesthetic, then that might appeal to you. But there's also a lot of people who do like the cutesy, fun, frilly labels. So obviously that's not gonna appeal to you as much but remember this is a different price point as well so it kind of caters to a different demographic um i would say the pluses or the pros on this brand are once again the very beautiful premium packaging and everything the effect that you're able to try out the fragrances ahead of time and then not be charged for it until you figure out which ones you want and you can sample them uh so that's always a good thing uh the fragrances are definitely more unique and sophisticated than other you know mall brand type of fragrances so that's also a plus on them as well uh so the whole packaging and the fragrance uh quality was definitely there um, and actually quite strong for a single wick, so I was uh, happy about that. As for cons, obviously I think the biggest uh con especially for the audience here on my channel is going to be the pricing obviously fifty dollars a little bit cost prohibitive especially if you try to buy like one off you know fifty dollars um is not quite as cheap as some of the other candles that we're used to here on the channel so it is cost prohibitive that it's not quite it's more like a maybe like a once in a while like luxury purchase or a like gift for somebody like if you just buy the whole gift for somebody and it's like a gift box set it would make a really nice presentation uh for a gift uh but not kind of like my daily driver or everyday go-to uh 
a candle that I'm gonna like hoard or stock up on. It's a little bit too cost prohibitive for that. So it's probably the biggest uh, con for the candle brand. Uh, the other thing is uh, they don't really do a lot of seasonal fragrances. I think there was one like Christmas one that I saw, but other than that, there's not a whole lot of like, um, I guess incentive to keep coming back, at least on the candle side. Maybe they do a little bit more of a varied uh, variety and assortment in their fine fragrance uh, department. But when it comes to the candles, I think it's just pretty much this, all these three, and then I think there's a prenup one. So there isn't like a seasonal rotation of fragrances that I think, uh, you know, some other uh, luxury candle brands definitely do a seasonal rotation of fragrances that come in and, in and out. So there's that seasonality that they can capture by being able to create different fragrances for you to keep coming back and trying them. That doesn't quite exist. So it's kind of like, you know, if you don't like any of these three fragrances you're kind of out of luck or if like you know if you're looking for something that's a little bit more seasonal or different uh, or limited time uh you know there isn't like that urgency of like oh my god this candle is going to sell out because it's a limited time seasonal fragrance so i think that's another con is the like assortment and variety is definitely lacking compared to some other brands uh and it doesn't have a lot of like uh, incentive to keep coming back to check up on more fragrances because it kind of seems like it's just like these three or four for the time being. Uh, so maybe, I don't know, I don't know how relatively new or established this brand is. Maybe if they're a little bit, become a little bit more established and they'll start releasing more seasonal fragrances. But that was the other con that I saw. So it was the pricing and the like sort of inventory assortment slash lack of seasonality that uh, existed in the assortment. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, if you're looking for like a nice gift and like a once in a while type of uh, like once in a blue moon type of purchase then check this out the fragrances are high quality and top notch but i think they're a little bit too cost prohibitive at least for the audience here on my channel uh to like keep coming back to them to at least hoard them but definitely uh worth checking out if the fragrances at least uh the descriptions that i gave you entice you uh they still you know they're quite strong for a single wick and they don't like dud out or nub out so we're good to go there so if you're still in the market for luxury fragrances uh you can still get a luxury experience for a little less than like your typical Teaks, Joe Malone's, and Sierra Trudon. So there's that. And I think that's pretty much it for this candle video. Um, thank you so much for Sniff. So the sniff.co is the website. Thank you so much for Sniff for sending out these candles to uh, try out uh, and preview and pass on the information to you. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.